action verbs and achieving language in your resume. So reading your resume, <clears throat> to me, um, it looks more so like a job description that you may have copy and pasted onto your resume. Um, and it's good information to have. So I wouldn't completely omit doing that. But in addition to doing that, you want to add some achieving language into your resume. You want your resume, the words that's on your resume to pop off, not only to pass the ATS system, which is the application tracking system, right? So using the right words to get past that. Once you pass that, you want a recruiter to read your resume and to feel connected. You want the words to jump off the paper. You want them to read it and say, okay, I'm really liking what I'm reading here and I want to meet this person in person. You want your personality to shine off of the paper to a point where the recruiter actually wants to bring you in for the opportunity to interview face to face. So I put here, use achieving language rather than doing language. Ask yourself these, these three questions to help determine which you are using in your resume. One, can anyone perform this, this function? Two, is this the standard job description? Three, did any results come from this action? If your answer is yes to this, yes to this and no to that, you are listing descriptions that only show what you can do. What you want instead is to show what you have achieved, okay? Now, I added in here a few examples of doing sentences and how you can convert them into achieving sentences. And you can take this information and apply it to your own situation and, and make it yours. So one here, this is doing. Let me highlight this here for you. Doing. Responsible for medical inventory and ordering medical supplies. Achieving would be optimize medical inventory by monitoring for supply shortages and ensuring efficient service, excuse me, efficient service usage. Do you see the difference in between these two lines? This is just showing what you did. Okay. Responsible for medical inventory and supplies. But when you break it down like this and put what you achieved, this is telling a, a hiring official or a manager, or anyone that's reviewing this resume, like, whoa, for instance, if this, if this was a position that has something to do with medical supplies, wow, like maybe they never even thought that um, supply shortages could be an issue or the amount of money that could be going out of the door because how the supplies are being managed, that that's even an issue. And they're reading your resume and they're like, wow, this is someone who has attention to detail. Even though you didn't say that, this is pretty much what you said here in this in this sentence here. It's like, wow, we need somebody on our team that can do something like this. Another example here, let me highlight that. This is another example. Help the hospital schedule surgeries more efficiently and gain revenue. Hmm, achieving. You switch this into an achieving sentence. Increase profit margins by creating effective surgical scheduling processes and implementing processes to minimize surgical cancellations. Hmm. Now, for instance, if I was a, a, a surgeon's office or a manager at the surgeon's office, and I know how how surgeons are with their cases when they get canceled, because surgical cases can get canceled for very very small reasons and it costs them a lot of money. That's a day of them not having a patient in the OR performing surgery, which leads to revenue loss. So if you're someone, let's say, for example, a surgical scheduler who's managing this process, or you've, you've made the process better to make sure that surgeons never, ever, ever have to deal with the cancellation. Like if the cancellation only happens due to something of the patient's fault, let's say, for instance, the patient ate right before the procedure, that's something completely different. But if you're making sure that the patient has their medical clearance, they have all their preoperative lab work done, you've had the authorization, you make sure that everything is done, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted. That was your process and that you came up with it and you make sure that it's so effective and efficient and everything is flowing and you make sure that the OR 
time is utilized efficiently, right? Making sure that you're scheduling certain cases on certain days. There could be different things that go along with the surgical scheduling process that can help the department in a whole to be more profitable by the way things are being scheduled. I'm just using this as an example, right? I just went all the way into that. But that is an example of really getting into the 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 bottom of what you do on an everyday basis. Like really stop and think about everything that you do at work that you might not have included on your resume. And then when you think about those things, make sure that you word it in such a way where it's achieving language and not just the job description and what you do. Don't leave it to be standard. Word it in such a way where you're wording it as achieving language. You want your words to jump off the paper when it finally gets into the hands of a recruiter. Okay.